There are always refugees, outcasts from some other place, looking for a home and a life and future in a new land. New lands were founded by just such people, and they're still coming. Earth is not the only place where outcasts gather. The only difference is the outcasts now come from distant planets and colonize other planets. Fifteen years ago, outcasts from three worlds colonized an uninhabited island continent on the planet Aea. They all had different reasons for fleeing home. There were those looking for adventure or a lost relative, but most were fleeing a totalitarian government, controlling every aspect of their lives, including procreation. The colonists found and settled a lush tropical valley hidden deep in the Crescent Mountains, where they thrive with hard work and perseverance. Couples bond and children are born, re-establishing traditional family life and values. One of the colonists is a Twakan princess fleeing the royal family of Twaka. She wants nothing to do with her cruel family. Now Twaka wants their princess back. Kedra, Aia's representative to Twaka, is arrested and held until Princess Thela is returned. An expedition represented by all three worlds and led by the Twakan warriors Princess Xanthi and Prince Lazar sets out across the Golden Sea in two boats to search for the missing colonists. But Xantha's secret goal is to murder her sister Thela to assure her ascendancy to the Twakan throne. Will the expedition find the hidden colony? Will Xantha succeed in destroying her sister? Will the colony be disbanded by the government of the High Council? You will find out the answer to all these questions and more when you read Crystal Shards by Syl Gregor. Crystal Shards is available at Author Masterminds on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wherever good books are sold. Crystal Shards is a Readers & Writers Book Club selection.